Hey guys, what's up? I'm Greg and this is Q. Together we're Mr. Happy 0121 and today we're reviewing the Hardee's Mile High Bacon Thick Burger. Boom, it only took three tries to get that right. right. <laughs> we're pumped about it. I'm more pumped I was able to get the name of the burger out. Wow, that's a big hamburger. <laughs> that's what she said. I ordered it with no tomato. Let's see if they got that right. So it comes just as you see on TV, except no tomato. That is one pale ass bun. Yeah, it is. You know how they have those, uh, what are they called at McDonald's? They have the sausage and the, uh, the biscuit. Make, what's it called? Um, sausage biscuit? No, no, it's like the sausage is in between the biscuits. A sausage biscuit? Yeah, they should make one like the size of a burger. Like they should make a big one. That'd be cool. You should have seen that omelet I reviewed on Mr. Dark channel by Hardee's that was 800 and something calories. Go watch after this. Yes. I'll put a link below. That's called Synergy. Go ahead and pull your burger off so I don't have to molest it. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Here. Still got some lettuce on it, still got some onions. The um, ingredients look fresh. I'm, I'm good with it. The onions don't look bad. They're yeah. a little bit chopped up, so that's better than the usual. You had two bites. I will take a second. really good. It is really good. I like it. I took off my lettuce because I don't really like lettuce, but the onion the onion is there. And it should be there. And this is feels, a burger. feels right. With mayonnaise. It does feel right. It adds to it. This yeah. is a burger that has mayonnaise, but you know what? What? They did it right. It's not 20 pounds of mayonnaise. Like, <laughs> it's not Burger King level of, like, insane amount of mayonnaise. There's just a little bit on there. I could live with it. Or like at McDonald's when you get the chicken sandwiches, you can, yeah. like, scrape off the mayonnaise. Exactly. The lettuce may not be the best lettuce, but unlike Burger King, it was kind of leafy, and it was fresh. Yeah. Uh, the onions were super fresh and crunchy. When you bit into it, they mixed really well uh, with the bacon. It, it, it did. That is true. I'm, I'm shocked. I thought this would be terrible. I, Me too. <laughs> Especially, like, the Hardee's when I pulled up there, it was, like, run down. There were, like, three people there, and I think those were the three people working. It, like, the tumbleweeds. Somebody said in the comments the other day, and they were accurate. At night, Hardee's is not the place to be. But uh, Mile High Bacon Thick Burger? I'm going to give that an A. I agree, A. I don't know that we've ever reviewed that many burgers. In fact, I can't tell you that we have ever reviewed just a straight burger. Um, not that it didn't have some gimmick, but this is the best burger I've had in quite a while. I highly recommend it. It is delicious. The bacon's not like strips, it's all like chopped up. Yeah, so it doesn't, so like when you bite into the bacon, yeah. you don't pull off that one long strip. It is, it's chopped up. I watched the guy make it. He literally had like a fistful of bacon. Like he didn't have it in his hand, but he had yeah. it in a scoop and he poured it onto the burger. It was a lot of bacon. This was uh, $5 with tax where I'm at. No, Just a sandwich, no meal, five bucks. But that's not bad. I don't feel like I got ripped off. Because I'd rather pay five dollars for an awesome burger than like three fifty for a crap burger, which happens all the time. I don't feel like I get ripped off because I didn't pay for it. So <laughs> this guy. No question of the day today. We're just gonna uh, sit out and let it let it end on a, a good note because we're both surprised. Okay. That never happened. Never. Thanks for watching.